All right, this is gonna be a pretty cool video because this is exactly how I grew my agency six or seven years ago was by following up on LinkedIn. Hey there, my name's Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links, and I've been doing this marketing stuff for a long time, and I've helped over 2,500 people grow online, and I believe follow-up is the best way. Now, I was able to secure so many clients from LinkedIn, following up with them, building relationships, getting them on my podcast, and then they would become a client because I followed up with them right. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in this video. And if you're new to my channel, it'd be awesome if you commented new so I can check out your business and send you my free follow-up blueprint. All right, so let's dive in. Step number one, what's the point of LinkedIn? You wanna build relationships first. You don't wanna just go start selling. So I always go and find the ideal prospect that I want to reach out to or that I wanna work with. And I connect with them and I follow them. Sounds easy enough, but now you need to set a reminder to come back and follow up with them in a week. Now, if you directly connect with somebody and they send you a message right away trying to sell you something, do you even respond? So you wanna take a step back and do a broad overview. Would you respond to someone that did this to you? So if you go connect with somebody, send them a cold message, try to sell them, why do you think they would respond if you wouldn't respond? So you wanna show some empathy. You wanna take a step back and look at that overview. What is something that would sell me? What would be something that may interest me? So you wanna take it slow. It's like going on a date. You don't wanna ask them to marry you on the first date. You gotta take your time. You gotta build the relationship. That's what you need to be doing with LinkedIn. Now for me, I would just simply want people on my podcast. So I would connect with them, the people that I would want on my podcast, and I would follow them and that's it. I would set in my reminder to come back and follow up with them again. Tip number two, this is something you should start doing right away. Start liking, commenting, and engaging with their post. This will start putting your name in the top of their head before you send them a DM. Now they see that, hey, this person is engaging with my post. They're providing some value because did you know engagement is value? The more engagement you get, the more eyeballs you'll get. So just by liking and commenting on their posts, will show that you are interested, that you are thinking about them, that you're providing some value to them, and now they're starting to see your name a few times. So instead of seeing your name in a DM and thinking of you as somebody that is cold outreaching, they're seeing that you're actually trying to provide some value. Now put some thought into those comments. Make them valuable. And I think one of the best things to do in those comments is to ask for a reply. Tip number three, in about a week, since you put it in your calendar, start endorsing them. Go down on their profile a little bit. Give them three or four endorsements for the things that they specialize in. Because, hey, if you've been looking at their posts and engaging with their posts, you know the type of stuff that they're actively doing right now. So you want to go start endorsing them. Then you can send your message. But the message is simple. Thanks for connecting. I've really been enjoying your posts. That's it. They don't need to respond. You don't need to sell them anything. You don't have to talk about yourself. You make it about them. Thank you for the post. You're providing a ton of value. I just sent you an endorsement. So now they're seeing that you are making it about them and not about yourself. Isn't that the key in any type of relationship? It needs to be mutual, right? Now you're gonna be able to be mutual since you took that step forward. You reached out to them in a positive way about them. Then your next step is asking them to check out you. All right, tip number four, set a reminder for another week. You wanna spread this out to one to two weeks. You don't wanna go on all your dates on the first day. So now you can send another DM asking them a question. Hey there, are you actively accepting new clients? Are you interested in being on my podcast? Do you have any new resources? Um, maybe go check out their website. Give them a positive comment about their website. Tell them something maybe you enjoy that you've read about them. And then you can say, hey, by the way, have you checked out my profile? That will lead them to actually go check out your profile. And here's the cool thing. They're not interested, they won't respond. That's totally fine. But if they are interested, they'll check out your profile, they'll DM you back, and then you take it from there. That's really the key. Now, not everyone's gonna respond back right away. And even if they do, they're not gonna respond back right away again to that follow-up message. So set a reminder to follow up every week. And you can do this multiple ways. But the goal is to just keep reminding them that you're there. One thing you can do is if they do respond back, and then you stop hearing from them in the DM, grab their email and send them a personal email. My bonus tip is to sign up for their newsletter if they have one. And once they send you a newsletter, respond back to that email. Now you're in their inbox. And if they are interested, they'll never forget about you. So are you following up with all your leads? If you're not, click on the link below and get my free follow-up blueprint. This is the exact blueprint we use to make sure 
our leads never forget about you. And that's the key. You don't want your leads to ever forget about you. They're not always ready to buy today. So that's why we preach follow-up. Follow-up is key. They might be interested to buy next week, next month, or next year. If you don't follow up, they're going to go buy from your competition. So I hope this video brought you a ton of value. Thanks for checking it out. Be awesome if you subscribe and I'll send you a new video next week. Thanks again. I'll see you on the next one.